What's going on guys, Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. It's gonna be right here in front of me. This is gonna be for the Hemivision, the newest HD DVR Azure K26 security camera system. Let me run a few specs by you guys here. Of course, before we do get it out, we're gonna be taking it through the test runs. You can do mobile viewing with the app. The cameras are gonna be full HD, 1080p. There's gonna be four cameras. It is an eight channel DVR system, which means that you can add up to four more cameras for a total of eight, but this system only gives you four. And these are wired cameras. Each camera cable is gonna be 60 feet in length. You just have to be considerate about the length. The cameras are IP66 waterproof. There, of course, is night vision, motion detection, video loss alerts, remote viewing, and camera blocked alerts. That's if someone was blocking the camera, you would get an alert. Kimmy Vision makes great camera systems and cameras. I've reviewed a lot of their products already. I'll have one of those videos at the end of this video as well. And just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box below the video is gonna be this link for this exact same security camera system. You guys can read more about it, pick one up yourself. Without further ado, let's get it out of the box. And we're gonna take it through all the test runs. So let's see what's in the box here. We got our quick start guide right there. We'll probably have to refer back to that in a little bit. We have our DVR box right here. Now something to also keep in mind is that this DVR box and this system does not include a hard drive in it. Hemivision does make other ones that do and it's very simple. You can purchase a hard drive and the directions will show you how to connect that, all the wiring and everything is in place here. So some of the key features, if you want a recording all the time, if you wanna skip the hard drive and use your mobile app, but everything connects to this, you have your HD out, your power sources, your USBs for a mouse, your eight channel cameras here, your audio out here, VGA if you wanna connect it that way as well, ethernet port, audio in, etc. there. The front of the box here, you have your power record, alarm right here, Hemi Vision logo, and not to mention looks sharp as well, like a cable box there. Coming over to this next box, we have a mouse, so you can scroll through the menu of the security camera system. Again, that is USB. You have an ethernet plug. You have your hard drive screws when you do install one. And you have your power plug for the box. Then we have this box here. So let's see what we got in here. In this box here, we have again, I told you they were 60 feet a piece, and there are four of those, so that is power, all in the box here, wrapped up. We also have another power adapter, and then these are gonna be the cameras. All of them are gonna be the same, so we'll just show you one. And these, once again, are full HD, and inside we have our drywall hooks and screws there. And let's check out the cameras. Hemivision logo on there. You do have a small sun scoop for reflection. Your lights there, your lens, coming to the bottom of the camera here. Each camera is gonna be a 12 volt, two amp input there. And you will have to use a Phillips screwdriver, but these will loosen and you can twist those, you can turn those in different directions there with the hinge system here. And then we have the back of the camera here with about a foot and a half cable down from there to there. This would be for connection to your box and power source through the provided cables there. Once again, these cameras are IP66 waterproof. All right, let's go ahead and connect all this. Take it through the test runs. All right, guys, got the camera set up and I just wanna talk you through something really quickly here. On the initial startup setup wizard, you have two QR codes that pop up. One one says scan for app and the other one scans for serial number and that is how you connect it to your phone on the app, etc. Actually, it wasn't scanning the one that actually says serial number. So scan the one that says app and then it came through and it worked fine for me. I think they have them backwards on the setup. With that out of the way, now we are connected. I chose time and date. You can do 24 hour format or 12 hour format. Time and date up there. I do actually have to change that. It's not Saturday, it's actually Friday. So I do need to go back in there and change that. Right here, it says camera two, camera one, three, and four down here. We have a shot of the living room here, my projector and that right there. Let's go ahead and go around the corner here. And that is where the camera is right there, shining that way. I have one outside. I have one in the office and I have one right here in front of me. Let's go ahead and look and see because it is hard lined in. One, two, three, hand down. One, two, three, thumbs up. One, two, three, thumbs down. Wow, absolutely no lag time. Okay, 
Ready, and my thumb is gonna go 100% to the upright position right now. Yeah, there's absolutely no lag time because it is hardwired into the box here. Now let me go ahead and show you a couple little tips and tricks of setting this guy up. You have two power cords, they're both the same. I have them inserted here. One goes into the back of your box, and then one goes into this four-way splitter here, which splits up to all of the camera's cable there, and then you insert it here. I have a different mouse right there, HDMI cable plugged into my television. I just have a different ethernet cable as well, but you get everything in the box except for the HDMI cable, but you probably have an extra one of those lying around. This is, of course isn't the permanent position, I just wanna do this for the review, obviously. So there are your cables there, and then they connect to the cameras on the opposite ends. As we can see, right here. That's where they're connected on that. Goes up to the camera up here. The camera cables again are 60 feet per cable line and so it's able to reach out and obviously you would streamline this a lot better but I just have them kind of dangling on the floor for right now but you can go through your rafters etc coming all the way around here and that's where that camera is right there as we can see for that shot and then again, one outside. So let's look at this one more time here as I'm standing up here in this one. Of course, that camera is right over here. There's the office we just saw outside. So when there is sunshine glazing in, I can still see the patio chairs out there, but it's just a little bit washed out, but I can still see everything in the room here. My projector here. We have outside shot looking great. Shining, I'm gonna go ahead and probably move that a little bit different because I wanna get a better shot of the door, but ah, there's the handle there. You can see that pretty good. I just need to tilt that a little bit up to the left there, as we can see, but beautifully crisp. I did notice the default was on, I think, 720 HD. So you have to go in the settings, bump the camera up to 1080 if you would like that. If you are getting a little bit of lag time on your internet, go ahead and toggle it down a little bit. But again, on full HD, there's absolutely no lag time here. My internet is pretty quick at home. That is connected again to the television through the HDMI cable to the box here. Of course, we're gonna take a look at the app as well. So far, so good. Now, let me show you this here. You right click on the screen here and your controls pop up here. Now, I do not have a hard drive installed in here, but they do give you the screws once again. So buy yourself a hard drive that's compatible with this unit and then go ahead and record. I would recommend a beefy hard drive. I will try my best to link one below in the description box with this security camera unit right below that link. But let's go ahead and go to playback. And this is where all your action would be. Now you can hook this up to a computer screen. It doesn't have to be on a television. A lot of people do like their television because then they can just switch over HDMI ports and view what's going on if they hear something outside or if it's hooked up to computer monitor as well then you can view that that way. You have your date calendar here. So you would just choose whatever day, obviously uh, present or in the past. And then you would have all your options here to be able to view the 24 hour recording. You can set alarms, manual. You can do a lot of cool features in this when there is a hard drive installed. And again, it is expandable up to eight cameras. So you can add four more. Also something to keep in mind as well, you will see like a little speaker here. Now this system uses this same system software on a bunch of different systems. So even though you'll uncheck the sound, these cameras do not have two-way audio, meaning there's no microphone, you can't hear anything, and there's no speaker, you can't speak. So just understand whatever is happening that you're recording is gonna be just video as you see my lips moving, but I'm not hearing anything out of my sound bar because again, there is no microphone or speaker on the camera for that feature. So just understand that these cameras are full HD with no audio or speaking capabilities, just visual. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you how to set up motion detection and push notifications for your phone. Obviously you're gonna benefit it much larger if you have a hard drive. Sorry for a little bit of glare there. We're gonna to get to the screen here in just a second. Right click the screen, go ahead and go to your main menu. The middle one will be alarm, click on alarm. There are options in the app as well. And then the left one over here is motion detection. Click on motion detection. 
And this is where you want to play around with some of your settings here. Okay, so right here I have channel one, but I actually have enabled, click on that, I've enabled all of them. You can do individual ones, you can set it, you can set the duration, you can set if you want things checked off. Let me go ahead and show you. So I hit set and you can choose your different times and all that. And this is in the instruction manual here, but let me go ahead and go back here, uh, up here to region. Now clicking on set region right here, this will give you this screen here. And what you wanna do on this screen, let's say if you have pets coming in triggering it, then you go ahead and you just start checking like this and all these things here. And then go ahead and play around with those settings. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck those there. And so you can set the detection area, which is really cool, using your mouse to click on and off of those. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of that. And then go ahead and push OK when you're ready to go. So once those are all done, that will actually record to your hard drive. But we need to also enable push notifications to our phone here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at the app a little bit closer here. We have all of my cameras right here in front of us, cam one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and, and look at cam two. We have already seen this one. Let me move my screen capture out of the way there. And you just toggle it from standard definition, just takes a second up to high definition. Go ahead and go to see how one. So only one is highlighted right now. Let's go ahead and go over to all four cameras right here, here, and here. And then from this menu, if you wanna go ahead and look at one, then you go ahead and double tap on it there and it will fire up that one. Now, I'm gonna check in the settings, but it's kicking everything to standard definition right off the bat just for quickness of speed. But then you just toggle it SD to HD right there, and there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom on in here digitally. As you can see there, we can see the light, the door handle, barbecue, actually no, that's not barbecue, those are bicycles underneath my tarp there. And then just double tap that, and you'll go right back to all four as we can see right there. Let's go ahead and check in with the uh, room here. And again, we're gonna be in SD. Let's go ahead and go up to HD. My arcade game in the office. Looking great, Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2nd Edition. Looking great there. Let's go ahead and get off of that one. Let's go ahead and check in with you over here at the TV viewing area. Very nice, crisp, and clean. And back out. All right, let's go ahead and go into the settings menu here. And this is where you definitely want a hard drive. If you just want to view it over your mobile device, no hard drive needed, a very inexpensive security camera alarm system. But let's go ahead and look at this just briefly here. Intelligent alarm, ordinary alarm. You have all these settings right here. You guys can pause that. You have user management uh, where you can set your new password and login information. Video management here. We have encode, record, configuration pre-record, mainstream, alarm mode, pack duration, and here in encode configuration, this is where it would be 1080p, frame rate, definition, audio. You guys can play around with those settings there, make them your own. Remote playback here, this is where you obviously would want it to have a hard drive so that you could have playback and view it over your mobile device. Right here, you have video download and advanced settings underneath there, storage configuration, network setting, I won't click on that, that's on my sensitive information, and about there. Now right here in the middle is a screenshot, the little camera there next to the settings button. You would hit that uh, camera button if you wanted to take a still shot of whatever's going on, or you also can click on the movie one next to the camera one on the left hand side. And what that would do is that would just go ahead and start recording. Let's go ahead and just click on this for kicks and giggles. And so again, the camera one would do a snapshot and it would save to your camera roll and then the video one see it there it is it's actually counting it up now so I just recorded four seconds of whatever's happening on this so if you wanted to skip the hard drive and you wanted to go ahead and just have some video and some still shots then I'll leave that up to you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and try to be as still as possible here so I don't get the notification but my fan is moving a little bit in the top right box so we need to enable motion detection let's go ahead and hit our settings button there and we're gonna go to this right here now we need to click on intelligent alarm here and then click on ordinary alarm again now make sure that your check marks up here under motion detection are all in the middle. Now play around with the sensitivity. I have middle, uh, advanced, middle, or lower there. 
as well. And then uh, you go ahead and obviously those are already checked like that. Make sure that is checked. But what you wanna do is obviously you wanna save it. And then on this main screen, underneath it says alarm hit. It says Benzie House and it says alarm push. Now alarm push needs to be toggled on for you to get these notifications. Now if there's a lot of movement in your house, I'm gonna warn you, you're gonna get a lot of false notifications. Go ahead and lower it down, or in my case, I need to actually uncheck that ceiling fan so that is not being detected. That's gonna save me a lot of false notifications. Now right here, what you would do is obviously you would drop down your push notifications that are happening on your phone, which would lead you to this list, or you could just go back to message here. And here's your complete list. Now, because I don't have a hard drive, I can't click on any of these, but this is all the motion detection that has been triggered. Now, if I had a hard drive, I could click on that and I could see the playback but there are some sweet features to this if you do not want to purchase a hard drive. All right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, night vision. I'm gonna give you a couple different looks as we take a little gander. First off, let's go ahead and look at the completely dark room, which is gonna be the office back here in the back. Let's go ahead and switch over to, of course, HD to clean that up a little bit as we can see all the way through the hallway. My video game, the lamp, the wood, all the details, the pictures to the left. That looks absolutely stunning. Closet door to the left there. Let's go ahead and go back and let's go ahead and take a look at this room again. Let's go ahead and clean that up to HD. Looking great. Television there, entertainment center, looks very clean. Now let's go ahead and go back to this room here. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the light now so we can see a little bit better of the night vision. Let's go ahead and click that over to HD. Well, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I can't really turn off my phone. So you're gonna get a little bit of ambient light on my face right here, as you can see the phone on my face. But look at showing the guitar, the fan, my disc golf basket in the back, my projector screen, my cajon down there left of my disc golf basket. That looks absolutely stunning. And let's go ahead and click on the outside one and clean that up to HD as it looks great as well, going through to the door there, the patio, the propane tank, the decorations. Guys, this is a great little system. Definitely get a hard drive if you want to go ahead and streamline all of the features, but even without a hard drive, it is actually a very well-made, quick system, quick on fire up, switches over to HD very quickly. So it's a thumbs up in my book. HemiVision has done a great job with their system. And again, in the description box below is gonna be this exact same linked security camera system. Again, I'm pointing down in the description box below. I'll also link a hard drive. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thumbs that video up if it has helped you make an informed decision and subscribe to the channel on your way out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. But just like all my unboxing and review videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. We'll see you on the next video. My name's Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon. Thank <music> you.